The last century has seen revolutionary changes in many aspects of British women's lives. Since emancipation in the early 1900s, many women have achieved greater equality in a number of areas, but how far have attitudes to the value placed on the role of mother and domestic goddess changed? At the turn of the last century, for the vast majority of women, their place was very much in the home. Wife, mother, cleaner and washerwoman. Women dedicated an entire day to washing their family clothes and bed linen, and without the technology we have today, had to struggle with very basic equipment, just a bar of soap and a washboard. The turn of the 20th century saw the first prototype of the electric washing machine, and then in 1909, two enterprising German professors invented this, the world's first soap powder with a bleaching agent. This played a major role in abolishing wash day, which in turn radically changed women's roles and their day-to-day -day lives. Life was about to get harder before it got better though, with the arrival of the First World War in 1914. With husbands and sons fighting in Europe, millions of women were left to look after their homes and families themselves. But in 1918, women finally got the vote, but only if they were over the age of 30. With the war over, Britain entered the Roaring Twenties, with wartime austerity replaced by glamour and fashion. In 1926, Coco Chanel invented the little black dress, and as well as hemlines rising to the knee, by 1928, finally all women got the vote. Back in the domestic kitchen, things were also beginning to change. New colours and materials became available, and with that came the need for what was called a scientific approach to washing. Purcell offered women advice to help cope with these changes, even going on the road with a caravan kitted out with washing equipment. With the outbreak of World War II came the next step in women's emancipation. With men away at war, millions of women who had never been able or allowed to work took on roles in munitions factories or joined the land army. With the end of another world war, many women stayed on in the workplace, but many more went back to the drudgery of the wash day. Then, the automatic washing machine came along. Although electric machines had been invented decades before, they never really reached mass sales until the 60s, and these new automatic machines speeded up the process massively, and it's no wonder, as this is the original equipment they had to use. The swinging 60s saw women's liberation reach a new level, with the pill introduced to the UK to married women only at first. Modern media started to reflect this newfound emancipation with the launch of glossy magazines that encouraged them to enjoy this newfound freedom. Then groundbreaking legislation was introduced to ensure women could compete with men in the workplace on an equal footing. First the Equal Pay Act at the start of the decade and then the Sex Discrimination Act five years later. TV ads even questioned whether men should be the ones to stay at home. So, here we are a century later, after some seismic shifts in our social history. We have come a long way in the last hundred years. However, the jury is still out on whether modern men are actually any more help when it comes to doing the washing. Because as many as two out of five British women say that their husbands and partners are responsible for less than 10% of the housework. 